While I'll show you the almost 100 video of Roman O.M. Odeo, said Ra, I'll say you about this, Mr. Ra. Mr. Ra is a puppet, a simple, pure, great puppet. Yes, a puppet of the divine comedy of Almighty God. But Mr. Ra is also a genius, the greatest genius of the human history, the greatest genius ever seen. I'll explain. People think that the man is the author of what happens, but Mr. Ra thinks that is not. We have only God as one only creator, like it is said in the first commandment of Bible. This divine alone creator has designed others apparent creators, who seem like him but they're not. Therefore, Every man is a puppet whose life is secondary one. We have puppets as every normal people. Workers, teachers, doctors, engineers, architects, physicists, mathematicians, educated or not. They, they all are in the conscious puppet of the divine comedy of Almighty God. Every man and every woman has received his own talent by the divine providence. In this situation, no man has some own merits and none has demerits that were assigned to him. To him as a responsible subject, that was truly the author of his actions. In fact, even if the soul is free, the actions of the characters are designed only by the providence. Who assigns the good and evil through considerations often lacking of every apparent criterion? How many times we are confused because we desire to do a thing but do another? Mr. Ra affirms that we are not responsible of our real actions, but only of our desires. The divine providence assigns every possible talent, they are like true and proper numbers. Whose range starts from the negative infinite and goes till to the opposite infinite, that positive. In the middle, we have number ten. One, and one tenth, as a trinity which can well represent God. This representation is always through characters, that are always. Always, always through puppets. Because two are the real persons, in the Divine Trinity, God Father and Son, the third is a synthesis. The third is a synthesis between the Father and the Son, therefore the Holy Spirit is ten-tenths. The Holy Spirit is ten-tenths in the case in which the Father is ten, and the Son is one-tenth. Of course. Ten, and one-tenth are the talents providence assigned to the Divine Father and Son. Divine Father and Divine Son, but always represented through the real puppets of the Divine Comedy. Jesus is the puppet which was represented through his Divine character of God the Son. One-tenth exists among all the numbers, and so, in the general representation of all talent numbers. We have already seen the character of the God's Son in the one-tenth talent. Now even ten exists, and it is the talent assigned to the God Father. It is truly impossible that in all existing numbers is lacking just the ten, Father of all numbers. Ten is truly the Father of all numbers. Ten interacts with itself and generates all the math's powers. These powers of the mathematics are the actions that afterwards are perceived in their action. These powers of the mathematics are the actions that afterwards are perceived in the reaction. The reaction to the action of a power having 10 as base is the decimal logger even equal calculation. The decimal logger even calculation cuts away the base of the power and the 10 interaction. Therefore, 
while all the numbers are representing how many times 10 God is in action. It is impossible that among all the numbers, as his son's infinite talents, it lacks just the Father. It lacks just the Father whose talent is the tenth cycle, which gives all numbers, with his own action. If one number must absolutely exist, this is the tenth cycle of its tenth unit, the Father of his Son. On the contrary, we haven't seen the character that Providence has assigned to the Father of Jesus. Even if it is clear that the Father exists in every son, because of every number, that is his action. We've understood the absolute necessity, even of the direct presence of the prime cause, of Father. His character must be not apparent, almost invisible one. Therefore, you cannot understand him like the Father, even if he is present and he is in action. Here it needs that he affirm to be the Father, and here it needs that none believes him. He must do actions divine, transcendent the reality. But these actions, transcending the reality, do not appear so that, well seen, aren't realized. It isn't realized and it isn't understood, even if everything is clear, all is seen and perceived. This invisible person must have done true miracles, but only of the reason. In fact, the Father is the author of everything that exists, and that can appear good, and can seem evil. The Father doesn't overturn the orders of the things that he orders and so are all well ordered. The Father doesn't do miracles, but he is present with his absolute truth, and he must show it. In fact, as an order of the things that the truth can move and convert the souls. But the necessity for the Father to be not understood is fundamental one. Is fundamental one, because of the necessity to not appear, also being present in an action. Even if he claims, with great voice, he I am. And it is necessary that he says so. necessary that he says so, and that nobody believes him. It is necessary that he reveals the way in which the world is built, and that nobody believes him. It needs 
is that he reveals the new path bring into the truth said by Jesus and that nobody understood. It means that he is again condemned to death by the cases of today the popes of the son's church. It means that he is again judged the nullity by the sapient men of today scientists and professors. Because of the beast of apocalypse, that is his antichrist, his mortal enemy, he must enter. In the 666 number of this beast, to realize its explosion, he, having against all the intelligentsia, all the priests, all the popes, all the men conformists, will live a long life, but as the greatest unknown and misunderstood genius that can exist. Unknown and misunderstood, but relay the greatest genius that can exist when he is God. In fact, this puppet in which God Father is entered, entering so in his greatest enemy, The ancient history about Saul de Carso is repeated again, and in the same date. Exactly 2,000 years after the January 25 of the year 38. This Genesis in January 38 is written in Genesis 38 of Bible. In January 2538 of 20th century, the true Ra, Sun God, entered in the nullity of Mr. Ra, in Italy. Ra is the acronym of Romano Amodeo, a man having five names and one surname. The five names are Romano Antonio and Paolo Torquato, like the five fingers born as first in Genesis 38. The Italian Kabbalah of the five names is 333 more one, in sign of the divine unity and trinity. Surname Amodeo is 47, in Kabbalah, and plus 334 gets 381, like Genesis 38 of 1038 and January. In Genesis 38 there is written of this Godfather's Genesis, in the transcendent way of the oracles. There are thousands of indications and transcendent signs of this birth of Father and Holy Spirit. But the design is to do it misunderstood, even if it's shown in every way possible by the same law. But Ra is only a puppet in the hand of the divine providence that is ordering even to him. Therefore he is the puppet of the greatest genius of the human history. Every man is God who entered in his character and animated its puppet. Therefore, Ra is a puppet which is created and animated only by God. This having well realized, Ra puppet is the puppet of the biggest genius never seen. My figure represents this real puppet of this biggest genius. Ra full name is Romano Antonio and Paolo Torquato Amodeo. The character that he must represent is that of God the Father and Holy Spirit. These two persons of God desire to enter into God's divine comedy. Therefore they need a character that was appropriate to the impossible aim. Therefore, Every real character.
lecturer is not appropriate to represent the infinite and the absolute love of God. Therefore, God wanted to astonish the sapient and assume the body of an apparent nullity. This character had to see him completely out of the so said normality. This character had to seem even foolish to the sapient in every context. So Ra had to seem as impious to the faith as ignorant to the science. A character without every human sense of modesty, therefore condemned to every injury. But in a situation in which only Ra wasn't wrong. In the human context, this character, who had everyone against, belongs to a genius. More were the condemns against Rajus, more were the reasons of his geniality. And Ra character will subvert at the end of his divine name to make perfect every idea. We can observe such of these contexts overturned by the raw geniality. Where everyone affirms evolution of everything, raw affirms the negative evolution. He demonstrates his to be right saying that one multiplied by one gets one the action reaction. Where everyone believes in the truth of the galaxy's flight and Big Bang. He demonstrates those like the reactive vision of the antimatters and magnetism concentration. Where everyone believes to go toward the future, he demonstrates it is the past time. In few words, the raw genius has the force to overturn every idea about what is real or not. In few words, the raw genius has the force to overturn every idea about what is real or not. Raw genius had the ability to correct Einstein in a way that cannot be contested. In fact, C2 must be M, and this must mean the energy of the mass unit and not a squared speed. Raw genius had the ability to correct everyone believed to can. Calculate something of absolute as the light speed by a real experiment. Ra explains that only by a theory we can calculate the absolute light speed and shows it. 3 1 ms is space time velocity in four dimensions. They become 10 8 as the speed of 10 2 in the atom's split section in the 10 10 of 1 meter. Ra has the ability to synthesize the infinite's real creation. It is get through 10-9 real calculation. Ra has, has demonstrated space and time as categories of human mind confirming can't. Ra has demonstrated the truth said by Parmenides and the appearance said by Heraclitus. Ra has demonstrated the truth said by every philosopher seeming contradictory one ones. The way to give relative reason to everyone derives by the truth of every contradiction. In fact, our world is the contradiction, in itself, of the binary world existing in action-reaction. Where we have two truths, equal and contrary ones, everything is right and wrong together. Ra affirms that in our relative world, 
everything is relative, also the truth. Law affirms to be the only one who knows the absolute truth that is that of a contradictory world. Ra affirms that in this way these contradictions exist as real proofs of the absolute truth. In the transcendent field of the faith, Ra carries everything towards the truth of the reason. But this reason must not be unilateral, but absolute. Therefore, by admission of a summary contradiction, this means that God is as potent as impotent. Both daughter, only in this contradictory way God is absolute and almighty. Both together, only in this contradictory way God is absolute and almighty. The absolute reason carries to the existence as of the heaven in which God is alone. As of the real existence, in which God is everyone. God has assumed really every possible cross, accepting to be determinate. Jesus in his cross is the real son, ideal example of that what is happening in every one of us. Everyone must assume the ideal dresses to can save God from the cross. He assumed in ourselves. Ra has scientifically demonstrated that we are already resurrected. But we only are seeing in the contrary dynamic of a body which returns toward its death. Who other could demonstrate such news in full contradiction with every people? Only the immense genius that God the Father and Holy Spirit chose for themselves. And if you pose this question, is all this possible? That God Father and Holy Spirit descended on the real earth in a man. Ra answers in this way. All the world is made by persons having their talent, which is something as a number. So, every number is existing, from the infinite negativity to the infinite positivity. In the in the middle of all this, there are the talents of the numbers 10, 1, and 110. Is it possible that the infinite talent of God has not created two characters? One with 10 talents and another with one ten of talent. 10 is the father's talent. His real inverse is the talent of his son. Ten tenths equal one is the Holy Spirit in the one talent. Ten tenths equal one is the Holy Spirit in the one talent. Also these two persons, having in one ten tenths of talent can be real persons. The Holy Spirit is the love who living gets one only the Father and the Son. It was impossible that in all the existent talents. There were lacking just these which represent the just middle. Ra has brought at knowledge all a series of new calculations of every type. <laughs>